Hello everyone and welcome back to the 45 bar tutorial of how to model basketball court arena. This time um, before we will um, start and cover you know the main body and part of the arm here I wanna do two more things in order to finish this so I almost forgot about it but uh, then it came up and you see those parts here uh, this is took from the PDF file that I uh, serve you on the description the first part tutorial of the uh, basketball arena anyway uh, this is how it looks so we're gonna do something just similar to this and one point that I want to make is you see here like if you could take half cut of this uh, board like that so it's just a little bit um, lower than the middle okay so we will need to just match something that looks like that so this is what we're gonna do right now so um, my is open with the last file that I'm was working on and what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna ex choose like some kind of a well I will make an F cut of this anyway, so let's just add one edge here just to mark where we want this to get to. So let's say that this is the height, okay? Something like so. Okay. And I'm gonna place this line because I wanna gra do something here with, with the help of this. So. I'm gonna right click choose face, I'm gonna grab this face, this face, this face, this face, and so on. I'm gonna duplicate these faces, though at the moment uh, all I wanna do is just grab the main faces and I'm gonna uh, simply remove a lot of edges later on. So let's grab this one and double click on this one here. That way it will be quicker. And then <coughs> grab this one and double click on this one. Okay. So we will extra um, duplicate this and we will remove un the unnecessary edges from it. So mesh, sorry, edit mesh, duplicate, press F8 three times. Control to unselect this part, so it will leave us only with that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch to side view. And here you go. I'm gonna expand this and right click choose vertices. I wanna grab those vertices here and simply stretch them by snapping them to the to this side, okay? And I will do the same with those because these are faces that I chose from the middle of this, or not to the middle, but something. It's not the actual uh, width, okay? So I'm setting this as the width. Also those, I mean, need a little bit more push. Well, I'm not grabbing them though, sorry. Something here is just not reacting to I don't know why it's oh maybe it's not yeah that's that's okay that's okay. I'm gonna press space and bring it back over here. Alright, so I'm gonna isolate this. Whoops see. Where are the others? Oh my god. I think that I lost the others, so I'm gonna grab the old side of this board, control to unselect this, and this will leave me with this, but still yet I'm missing one piece here, so control shift to add to selection and control to unselect this, so will leave me with that, and you see it's not stretched as I thought it should, so, ah well I will isolate them and patch all this okay let's patch this mm. 
I'm clearly missing some face, very little face here. But that's okay. You know what? I will do this even easier for me. I'm gonna grab the middle piece and delete it and I will have both of them and I will simply stretch this one sorry this one to that one I already wanted to remove the entire um, edges so I really don't care about them right now simply make sure that this is stretched and connected so let's grab all those vertices here hold on the V key stretch this to this side and those just a little bit to the right press F8 let's grab both of them Smash, combine, unisolate and isolate again. Right click, vertices, grab those vertices and those vertices. Merge component, press F8. Let's check this connection. Good. Let's remove unneeded uh, edges as for now. Shift right click, delete edge same same those the same all right so here we go we have this frame now gonna extrude this as it is okay so i'm gonna choose the polygon shelf and extrude this and pull this in this direction well maybe I'll switch to scale tool and do this that way alright and I'm gonna bring those down that way this already make half of the work I'm gonna press F8 bring it back to object mode I think that's fine as for the base of this so I'm gonna press F A, shift right click, insert the edge loop. Um, let's do something here with this first. I'm gonna right click, choose edge, grab this. Oh, grab this edge with the selection tool, control right click, edge ring utility, so edge ring and split. I'm gonna add two uh, offset edge loops. Offset edge, and bring them to here. You know what? Let's first bring those over there. So they are very close there. You can see them. And then I will add two more very much here. I'm gonna grab this one, double click on it, switch to scale tool and push it that way to straighten this. And double click on this one and push this. So they are they both s supposed to be at the same distance, so don't worry. I will just try to really match this. Okay. Now I will add another offset edge loops. So you see those are straight right now. And let's say something about so. Now I'm gonna delete this one and this one. Okay. Because they are just, they were there for a support. Um, I'm going to unisolate this. I want to take a look here. And I want this to be uh, more of like here. Okay, those two. So double click on this one. And double click on the other one. Well, let's just press F8 I'm gonna grab sorry F8 I'm gonna grab all those pieces and isolate them so that way it will be easier for me 
grab this edge, double click on this one, double click on this one, switch to scale tool. I want to set this to something like that, like where this thing is, okay, the ring. Press F8. Now I will isolate this again. No, you know what? Let's leave it as it is. I'm going to right click choose this face and this one and this one, this one, this one, this one, that one, that one. And we'll do the same from the other side. Just like so. And this little one here. I'm going to extrude them. And the gizmo is there. So let's see what this brings me. That way. Okay. That's good so far and I'm gonna grab this one well we should do it that way I'm gonna grab this one and double click on the other side there no that's not good this one and this one oh, it's selecting everything so I may need to select this. Uh, let's isolate this. Now it will be easier. You know what? For a second, I'm gonna remove those edges and the other one. And then I will do this. So grab this, this that that way okay and I'm gonna extrude them it's always better to check I mean you don't always need to use the handle you can always you can sometimes use the scale tool in order to extrude them correctly so just be aware of this, that sometimes it will be a better to do something such as this. So that's fine, I guess. I'm doing something here that is not acceptable, I'm overlapping. I'm gonna undo that. I'm gonna switch to scale tool and try to scale this that way. So you see, at least I have this corner ones that I can bring up. So if I will pull this up, this will be better that way. Okay, something such as this. And now I'm gonna grip th grab those faces here. I wanna extrude them just a little bit up. with this but switch to move tool so they will be extruded the same alignment that way and press F8 and let's bring those sharpie corners those well I'm not sure maybe I will check on this PDF again uh, they should be covered it's not supposed to be that way so well, they should be covered though on the top <coughs> on top of the this well let's zoom in first uh, it looks like it doesn't really cover but I think it does cover a little bit of the frame I mean if you take a look on here and the way here inside so it's like just a little bit of the frame is inserted there okay <coughs> so let's just notify with this and see 
we'll do something almost the same. Um, I'm going to press 3. This area looks bad for some reason. I really have no clue why. Is that like so? But anyway, I'm going to get rid of half cut of this. So let's get rid of the unnecessary cut, which is a little bit weird. Okay. I'm going <coughs> to... I want to at least get this area here which for the screws so I'm gonna shift right click insert edge loop I'm gonna insert one edge here and one in the middle control right click edge ring is the edge ring and split and probably I want one more so let's add one more here okay now there should be two more here, so let's add them. Offset edge loop. See here to maintain this area sharp. So I will add them <coughs> now. And press F8, shift right click. I'm gonna add another edge loop just here. And I'm gonna grab this vertex and shift right click chamfer it. Now I'm chamfering it, but it ain't going to stay the same. So we're going to do something such as this. And then I'm going to press F8 to bring it back to object mode. I'm going to add two more offset edge loops. Just add like here. Okay. And I want to relay on those. So I'm going to add two more. Well, at the same position just down beneath here okay it's better to look from the side view and make sure that you match them now it will be easier for me to grab those two and those two and simply do something such as this and grab this one and that one and scale them downwards to about so so let's bring this a little bit up, okay, just like that, and I'm going to press 3, okay, let's press 1, press delete this, press 3, so we can tweak this a little bit more, I guess, uh, but we can also add more edge loops, maybe, let's add, well, Let's not add, leave it. I'm going to right click, choose edge, double click on this edge. And I will uh, extrude this. So let's extrude this. Switch to move tool. And OK, scale tool. I'm going to do something, a frame here first. That way. Just to maintain this area some reason I, I think I should do this so um, anyway I'm gonna grab this two ones and try maintain this frame somewhat even well, I need this one not this one and let's bring those a little bit backwards maybe this one Sorry, maybe this one and this one. No, I'm always picking something that shouldn't be caught. I'm missing something here. Oh, here it is. Just a little bit like so. And now I will extrude this finally. Extrude, switch to move tool. Just a little bit inside to create, uh, you know, the supporting edges. So extrude, extrude again and do this that way. Extrude. Whoa. I was double clicking. Sorry. One click. 
and another little bit like so. Well, when you think of this, uh, it should go all the way there, though it's not a must, but you know what, I am going to do this that way. I'll simply pull this a little bit more and then extrude this, switch to move tool just a little bit more and extrude it again. Let's close this area. Well, I need to create an inner frame there and then it, I will be allowed to fill hole and patch all the necessary ones. So mesh tools, multi-cut tool, click here, click there, right click, uh, this one, well, I will need to manage this. So let's do this that way, these two, and these two, and somewhere here at the 50 point, and here at the 50 point. Okay, trying to maintain quads. So no need to connect this that way. Anyway, we're gonna use uh, offset edge loop tool here. And I'm gonna insert one offset edge loop here to maintain this area and then one here okay I want you to think of this that way I'm gonna add those okay so these are cubes and now I'm gonna add those so those will be somewhat like those okay the cubes and then I will add one extra just to maintain those. Okay, with that done, uh, well, you can bring those here, but never mind. We have a frame here, as you can see, so we can work this out right now. Multi cut tool. Now you can position this cube here at the middle if you want. I'm gonna do this that way. Click here, click here, click here. That's it. Click here, click here, and click there. That's it. I'm gonna right click choose vertex, grab this vertex, shift right click, chamfer it. Switch to selection tool. It's always a better idea, and we do something such as this. Okay, so like some screw there. I'm gonna click on this, double click on, well, it's not selecting all of them, so let's click and grab them one by one and let's have a look at this that way all right that's fine I'm gonna press well maybe a little bit more press F8 grab this and you wanna extrude this once and move it just like so a little bit downwards then extrude it again, switch to move tool, do something such as this, like that, maybe and extrude. Well, I'm gonna extrude this once more, switch to move, so the scale tool, scale this downwards that way, and I'm gonna poke this face. I guess it's the best thing to do here. Okay, press F8. And what I will do now, I will copy this these faces, so I'm gonna duplicate them. So those faces has been caught, but I don't need those. So control and unselect this area. So only those will be selected. Edit mesh, duplicate, press F8 three times. Grab this. And sorry grab both of them control to unselect this modify center the pivot for this one 
let's make some room for this so right click choose face let's delete those four faces select this unselect this move this over here and that's good I'm gonna right click on the background choose vertices and grab all the, the outer vertices same procedure as always scale them down that way I'm not affecting the inner diameter circle of this and grab both of them mesh combine unisolate and isolate again edit mesh sorry mesh tools mesh vertex tool and grab these ones into place you can tweak later on the vertices and try and straighten them up if you like um, but that's fine press f8 let's press 3 well i'm still on that mode so that's okay now that's okay all right so yeah I think that's fine now I'm gonna well I need two edges here so let's add them I'm gonna insert one edge here and one edge here and let's press 3 and see how it looks well maybe I will straighten this one and double click on this one and straighten this one so I need the Y axis of the scale tool press 3 and maybe I will move it over here double click on this one move it over here so it won't be much of a proved that way as long as I'm bringing them near to the corner this will be less smooth there oops I think that this, this is good so we can stay satisfied with that um, the next thing is probably something that I usually see me doing, but it's not like it's just uh, something that I'm doing. I need to unisolate it in order to create this to see the sphere that I just created. And what I will do here, I will create a cube as well. And I'm gonna isolate the cube. Right click, choose face. I'm gonna grab this, this, that, and that and if you rec okay I, i'm not sure if you know this but um i created a tutorial a short tutorial part about uh, keep faces together on maya 2015 uh there was a slight of change when, whenever you extrude faces uh basically on maya 2014 and earlier versions you could choose from one of those menus i think it was the edit mesh uh, there was a first option here which uh, named as uh, keep faces together now basically what it does whenever I'm gonna extrude like this thing here and pull them out so I could ch switch to that feature and basically b four of them will be extruded as individuals uh, faces individual faces so right now I'm gonna extrude them that way and you can see that on the attribute editor if you open it you have the keep faces together checkbox so you can click on this and this is what will happen see like that or like that now there are five ways on how to check this and you know to change this so you can check the tutorial part that I was dedicating for it right now you need to make sure only that this tab is open while you extruded them and uncheck this scroll down and uncheck this okay this is the tab um okay so i'm gonna pull those that way and i'm gonna press f8 now for unisolate this and i'm gonna grab this thing 
and sorry, I'm gonna scale this downwards that way. Okay, and I'm gonna stretch this. Well, I need to scale down the scale tool, it's just a little bit too much. I'm scaling this just a little bit uh, like that. Okay, and I'm gonna grab the sphere, shift select this one, mesh, booleans, and difference. You need first to ch select uh, the sphere, shift select that, go over edit mesh boolean difference, and this is what will happen. So after you've done this, you're gonna grab those faces here, press delete, and here you go, you have a screw head, okay? So about topology, don't ask me. It's ain't, it ain't gonna work in this uh, at this moment. It's just an easy way to create this, and I only suggest you to do this if you feel like it's not a must. So I'm gonna grab this and bring this to that part there. All right, there. I'm gonna hold on the J key and rotate this. I'm gonna press F to focus on this. Scale up the handles a little bit so it will be easier for me. And pull this up. Well, I guess I could have done this a little bit bigger. Anyway. Let's, we can snap this, but right now I'm going to do this that way. And that way. I'm going to switch to side view. Here. And you can see the hole and this. So I want to, you see the handle of the pivot, I mean the manipulator, the, this now that's blinking here. I want to make sure that this one exactly on top of this, to center this. Okay. This is the center of those two holes there. And then I can bring this here and set this green one to the center of this one. Just like so. Okay. Well, just a little bit that way. Just a little bit downwards. Oops. Okay. And scale this down. So it will fit this hole there. I'm going to switch to perspective view and bring it inside this hole and tweak this so it will fit. All right, you can delete the faces that behind there, they are unnecessary if you need to reduce a little bit of uh, poly count then can also use the scale tool and smash this a little bit. Smash, I mean like squeeze this a little bit. So the screws will be thinner that way. The control D to duplicate this thing. And move it over here. Okay. So that's cool. And now what I will do is simply mirror this. So I will first mirror this thing. Press one to exit smooth preview and set my camera that way. Shift right leg, uh, mirror polygon, mirror options. Let's say that this is the, I always forget. Okay, that's good. Don't merge them, merge them only with your uh, with that, well, there are, there are no any supporting edges. Well, let's <laughs> let's just first isolate this. There are no many f edges here, so it's safe to grab all of those in the center and simply edit mesh and merge. Well, it's not that safe because there are edges here. I forgot about all those edges here. Just want to make sure that I'm not somewhat doing... See those very close ones? I don't want to patch those. I'll press 3 and see that everything looks good here. That's good. 
close. <laughs> Press F8. Let's unisolate this for a second. Grab those as well. Isolate. And then let's grab those two. Control D to duplicate them. Switch to move tool and bring those over here to this side. Switch to rotation J. Sorry, what I've done. Switch to rotation. Press F8. Okay. We don't need to press F8. It's me that I was accidentally do done this. So uh, move these into place like so. Now, right now, they are not smooth preview. So I if you want to add smooth preview to them, you'll probably want to add those extra supporting edge loops. And you will need to build this up at least, you know, to patch. I mean, I'm just creating those two here and those two here. And I will need to simply grab them all the way. I mean, to draw a line here with the multi cut tool that goes loop. Okay. So if you want to do this, be my guest. It's not really a must because this is a very not. Uh, you know, no one will see this anyway. It's just for you. And whatever you're gonna do a close up shoot, it still will look good. So no problem with this. Uh let's unisolate this and yeah, I think that looks fine that way. I may want to isolate this once more. And one thing that I do wanna do here is wanna add one edge loop here exactly here you know what I, I will undo that I'm gonna do this with grabbing this edge edge ring into this edge ring and split and do the same at the other side okay and I'm gonna get rid of those uh, well, let's first add edge loops, offset edge loops, just about here, okay, those will be maintaining ones, and I'm going to add two more, that way, so we have three, three, and it's just in case that we need them, so I'm going to grab those faces here, press F to focus, and I need well, I don't need I don't need those, so I can delete them. And I don't need those, so I can delete them as well. And now I will grab this edge. It's confusing a little bit. This edge and this edge, and this edge, and I'm gonna grab this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge, and you see they are both from the left, so I can now extrude them, switch to move to, and pull them a little bit like so, Not, don't attach them there, grab the merge vertex tool, and patch this. Okay, that way we are patching those. There is something weird here. I hope there won't be any surprises, but let's see. Gonna patch these. Nope. These, these press F8. Yeah, well, I can get rid of one set of edges here. So sh double click, shift, delete, and one set here. Shift, right click, delete edge. 
edit mesh, offset edge loop. I'm adding here two edge loops to maintain this area. And I'm gonna do the same here, add here, whatever, wherever I need them to be. So let's add those. Those, I don't want them to be stuck here. I want them to be a little bit here. And then this one, we can do it very close. Again, this one close, this one somewhat here. And let's see what else. Well, we need one here. Sorry, here. And there. Okay. Here. And there. And that's all good. And here. And there. Now, I added a, l a lot of edges without really making sure that they are not passing through here. But right now it looks okay, so that's good. I'll press 3 just to check this. I guess I could have lowered it even more down, but that's fine. Um, yeah, this this is it for this. I'm gonna unisolate this and have a look at this. So it looks good. And I wanna do something more here. I wanna create a cube. Sorry, the cube. Where is the cube? I'm gonna press F to zoom on the cube, if it's there at all. Here it is. Press F8. I'm gonna scale up this cube just so I can see it and switch to move tool and lift this cube all the way up to the rim. Okay, now here I wanna bring this cube like that. I'm gonna scale this to about so, this width. Okay, this width, that way, I'm gonna squish it and pull this up so I can see it better. Let's isolate the rim and this part, okay, so now we can see what we are doing. And I'm gonna squish this a little bit more, that way, and let's non-smooth preview this I'm gonna grab this thing you know what when I'm thinking of this well never mind let's just continue press F to zoom and yeah, I'm gonna change to four view and let's use the top view to see this so this will be the length in that manner then we can right click choose this face sorry shift select this face shift select this face and I'm gonna extrude this two just about so now basically what we are doing is if I go up here on the PDF uh, let's try home it will be quicker scroll down oops okay so you see this thing here this is what I want to create just this little sponge or whatever it is um, let's grab those um, extrude them downwards oh it as you can see, I mean, on the PDF, it looks like it's all the way to this area. So, something to be aware of. I'm going to modify, send to the pivot, grab this, move it here to place. 
move this here into place and let's just pull them a little bit more I'm gonna look another time on this video I thought I closed this yeah I shut this off let's zoom on this okay here it looks like it's I don't know maybe it's like have those sticky things that just attach to there but you know what we will do something like that we're gonna pull them just a little bit lower than that press F8 I'm gonna right click choose this edge control right click edge ring utility this is edge ring and split I'm gonna add offset edge loops on top of this exactly there I'm gonna do the same over here oh I can do this manually insert edge loop we'll insert one edge loop here and one edge loop there and my next edge loop I want it to be here like so and here I'm gonna press 3 and take a look at this okay I think that looks fair enough we don't need more than that now if you ask me why well this is wrong but not oh well yeah this is this area yeah it doesn't matter um, if you ask me why I'm keeping all those back ones uh, while I can reduce uh, you know the poly count the, on the main reason for this is because uh, if I will remove them and I don't know you will want to take a shot from behind the basketball hoop uh, you won't have something here that proving that this is a solid uh, piece of metal or this is a solid piece so you don't wanna uh, because of the glass you don't wanna get into those situations okay so I think that that's pretty much it this sums it up um, thank you for watching again and have a good day please don't forget to save this file save scene as I'm gonna keep it at 42 and next time we will basically wrap this uh, body main body with all the spawn all those pads that should be on top of this and again don't forget to subscribe like the video if it was helpful and thank you bye bye have a nice day